Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna find the question once and for all, which is which PSI is the best for range? Now, I know that some of you will say that if you weight differently, you're gonna get different results, so we're gonna standardize this. Now, today with all my equipment on me, I'm 160 pounds, and we're going to test three different PSIs, you know, to test range. Okay, we're going to test three different PSIs, but not gonna be, you know, strict values. We're gonna talk about percentage values. So you know how everyone says that the best range is 10% of your body weight? We're gonna try 10%, 15%, and 6%, which is gonna be awful. <laughs> but we're gonna do this with science. So stay tuned for the test. <laughs> So this is the baseline. So we're gonna do one round with 10% body weight. This is board. Uh, this is our reference. We're gonna do one whole spin. Zap doc. Hopefully it won't do anything to me. Okay, now we have one data point which is 15 16 psi and we have 11.5 watt hours per kilometer now today's a cold day today's about 15 degrees celsius which is i'll put it here in fahrenheit i don't know if it's 70 80 i, I, I don't do fahrenheit but yeah we'll try now i thought of 15 percent my body weight but that's about 24 psi so i'm gonna do 20 psi which is about 12.5 percent of my body so yeah let's do that i do 20.5 because i lose about half a psi when taking this out so yeah let's go i have not ridden 20 psi since my pine days so i hope i don't fall Okay, it is surprisingly not as bad as I thought it would be. I think the Street Pro 2 tire is a really good tire. And it's the first time I'm trying it at 20 PSI. And I like it, dude. So now we're gonna do 5% our body weight, which is about 8 PSI for me. And we'll see again the results.
Um, and just for the sake of testing, I am gonna try 24 PSI, which is 15% my body weight. It's probably gonna suck too, but since we're doing experiments, I figured, what the hell. My thoughts are 5% which was 8 psi for me sucked very hard on this tire at least it was very wobbly I didn't like it at all there's the train my usual 16 psi was a nice middle ground between you know comfort and range because basically I could do bumps and absorb all the imperfections on the ground very easily now 20 psi gave me good range and it started to feel a little too stiff so yeah 20 psi was a little too stiff and 24 psi which is even higher doesn't feel as stiff for whatever reason it's like this tire has different profiles depending on psi but okay 15 percent psi it's not feeling that bad, it's reminding me of my pine days. So what I'm feeling at 24 PSI is that the board can actually go faster than before. And that's usually how it goes with um, higher PSI because you have less roll resistance and that uh, translates into better transfer of torque and uh, more speed. Also at 8 PSI I could feel my board screaming for duty cycle warnings and that's because it simply takes a lot more energy for the board to uh, move you when the tire is so low PSI. So actually you know what 24 is not feeling that bad. I might drop it to 20 but the Street Pro 2 tire since it, maybe it was designed to be ridden at this PSI, I don't know, maybe the fault light can confirm. I don't know if you can hear any of this because there's a lot of wind. Temperatures are dropping fast again because the sun is hidden. But yeah, mainly this is only one data point. We're, uh, we're gonna repeat this test. Hey, what are that? Too bad I didn't record that, but that guy almost crashed into me hard. <laughs> okay, so what I was saying was, uh, this is only one data point. We're gonna need to do this test again in summer because, and this is only one tire. I mean, we, we can do this test a billion times with different tires, but hopefully the results will be definitive. I don't know if there will be that much of a difference in efficiency between 20 and 24 psi which is 12 and a half and 15 percent of your body weight um but yeah this is a guide at best for you to follow so we're about to reach the end of this loop and 24 feels good i am amazed on at least you know flat streets so uh, there we go and the verdict is oh my god it disconnected god damn it oh well there it is so 10 watts per kilometer uh not that much of a difference to 20 psi so I think after 12 and a half percent, it's not gonna make a difference. At least that's what this shows. So let's go grab a coffee and recharge. That's it. If you stayed long enough in this video, we're gonna feed some stray cats. Look at them, they're so pretty. Now my cat stopped eating this. It never liked it, so I'm giving it to them because they're hungry as heck. Aww, you want to? This cat is not letting the other cat eat. So he is boss. The other one's there. 
had to throw it to him. If you wanted a sign from the universe to give you permission, this is the sign. Adopt a cat. Or too many stray cats. Look at this one, man. He's so skinny. I wish I could take him home too. We have three today. Yeah, that's a vibe. 